السلام has come to this holy mosque to pray. Imam Sayyid Ali السلام is known for his worship, for his piety, for his taqwa. Ali ibn Hussein al-Sajjad, peace be upon him, it is narrated in the La'a al-Imama by Shaykh Abu Jarir al-Tabari al-Imami that the Sajjad alayhi salam used to pray 1,000 units of prayer day and night. And just to shed light upon his prayer, his grandfather, Amir al-Mu'mineen, and Mawla al-Muwahideen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. What do you guys think Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam used to pray? What do you guys think of the prayer of Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him? It is narrated that one day, one of the companions of Imam al-Sajjad came to him and he told him, is this anything like the ibadah, the worship of your grandfather, Amir al-Mu'mineen, peace be upon him. He said, No, it is nothing close to the ibadah of Ali ibn Abi Talib. He took out the Mus'haf of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. He tried, he said myself, he said, I tried to do the ibadah of Ali ibn Abi Talib. I took out the Mus'haf to do the a'mal and the deeds of Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him, and I could not handle it. This is the ibadah of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And then look what Ali ibn Hussein is. Ali ibn Hussein, peace be upon him, is known for his beautiful book, as Sahif al Sajjadiyya. Every house, every Shi'i house today owns this book. Every Shi'i house today owns this book and they open it every day. Dua in the morning, dua in the night, dua in the evening, dua in the afternoon. They supplicate, supplicate and their teacher is Ali ibn al-Hussein. Now, Abu Hamza al-Thumani. Abu Hamza is also known. There's not a Shi'i living today that does not know Abu Hamza. Why? Because in Ramadan, we hear the name Abu Hamza over and over again. Abu Hamza al-Thumani, when he first met Imam Sajjad alayhi salam, he met him in this mosque. And just to show you about the greatness of Abu Hamza. Abu Hamza was one of the closest companions to Ali ibn al-Hussein alayhi salam. It is narrated by Ali ibn Musa al-Rida salam Allah alayhi. He said, he said Abu Hamza al-Thumani is like the Salman of the era, of his era. Abu Hamza is like the Salman of his era. For he served four of us. He served Ali ibn al-Hussein. He served Muhammad al-Baqir, he served Ja'far al-Sadiq, and he served a little of the time of Imam al-Kadhim alayhi salam. This is the status of Hamza alayhi salam. He says, like him is Yunus ibn Abd al-Rahman, who was also the Salman of his time. This is the status of, this is the status of Abu Hamza al-Thumali. Now Abu Hamza al-Thumali was raised by Imam al-Sajjad alayhi salam. He was raised in this beautiful atmosphere of supplication and dua because the dua and a dua is the, the believer's weapon. In this mosque, somewhere in this area, and unfortunately we cannot go inside, is the maqam of Imam al-Sajjad, peace be upon him. This maqam right now is not accessible by the brothers. Only the sisters can go visit us. And by that maqam, and unfortunately as well, we cannot go inside is the mihrab of Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him, when Ali ibn Abi Talib was struck on the head by Ibn Mujam al -Lain. So, somewhere close to the seventh and fifth pillar, so somewhere close to the maqam of Nabi Allah Adam, peace be upon him. I will read you the nas of Abu Hamza, alayhi salam. Abu Hamza said, I was sitting in the mosque, by the seventh pillar, and I noticed a man enter from Bab al -Kinda. I looked at him, and I saw nothing but beauty and light emulating from him. I had not seen someone in such a pure state. Here, Abu Hamza's first time 
witnessing Ali ibn al-Hussein. He's heard of Ali ibn al-Hussein. He knows there's an Imam by the name of Ali ibn al-Hussein, but he has never seen Ali ibn al-Hussein. And he still does not know who he is. I could smell a beautiful aroma from him. He was wearing simple clothes. He was wearing a jubba, a turban, an Arabian style stand sandals on his feet. Upon his entry, he had taken off his sandals. He had taken off his sandals and I could hear him getting ready for his takbir. He did his takbir and began to pray four units of prayer. At the maqam right now where Jibra'il alayhi salam is. Abu Hamza Allah ta'ala says every single hair on my body stood up. I felt a shake down my spine. His prostration and his bow was immaculate and perfect. And I heard him recite the supplication. And then he began to recite the dua. Oh Allah, if I am disobedient to you, then indeed I have obeyed you in those matters that you perform most. Until the end of the dua, he finished his dua, he completed prayer, then Mawlai, then Mawlai Ibn Sajjad alayhi salam prostrated and he began to recite a different dua. He says, O oh, he who is able to fulfill the desires of those whom ask, O oh, he who knows what is in the heart of those whom are silent, O oh, he who does not need an interpretation, O oh, he who knows what the eyes betray and what the hearts conceal. Until the end of the dua, the dua can be found in Fatih al Jinan of Sheikh Abbas al Muhaddath al Qummi. Now, this dua Abu Hamza heard and Abu Hamza memorized. The Imam completed prayer and then he exited from Dual Dora Kilda and Abu Hamza ran after him. He saw a man in the market. He asked him, Ya Abdullah, man hadha rajul? Who is this man? He said, That is my master, Ali ibn al Hussein. Peace be upon him. And there is, this is the story of how Abu Hamza met with Ali ibn al Hussein alayhi salam in this holy mosque of Kufa. It is here where Abu Hamza learned these supplications that today every Shi'i in their house has and every Shi'i in their house recites. The followers of Ali ibn Abi Talib come to this mosque in millions and I wish I wish we could go more and show you about all the other beautiful historical events here. Because like I said before, and I will repeat again, from this mosque, Farat al Nur, from this mosque is when the flood started. From this mosque is where Ibrahim salam prayed. From this mosque is where Nuh salam built his ship. From this mosque is where the holy blood of Amir al Mu'mineen and Mawla al Muwahideen. The command of the faithful, peace be upon him, was shed. In this mosque, Rasulullah prayed. In this mosque, Abraham played. In this mosque, Sulaiman. In this mosque, 1,000 messengers and successors of messengers prayed. Now, inshallah, we are finished here. And this is as much as we can give you. We will conclude this beautiful historic video, this beautiful historic event by going to the shrine of Muslim Naqil alayhi salam and speaking about Muslim and about the shrine of Muslim and about the maqam of Muslim. Bismillah. This is Rasulullah who has blessed this mosque with his footsteps. Now since we are the topic of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I will narrate to you a report or two concerning what did Rasulullah see when he ascended the heavens in his mi'raj?